I played customer once before, too, but it made me a little uncomfortable. It was strange having Mother and everyone say things like, Welcome to me. That's why I wanted to stay out of it a little longer. <laughs> but I brought this on myself. I told everyone at the inn that I hadn't planned to take over as manager, that I wanted to leave Inaba. I thought it would be me finally coming clean to everyone. But they all just laughed and said they knew already. It made me realize how small I was. I was surrounded by good people, but I didn't understand that at all. I had myself convinced I had to bear my problems alone. I lied to myself, and looked away from small opportunities, and only put my efforts into leaving it all behind. But after making so many good friends like you and Chie, I realized something. If I'm going to take one step at a time away from here, every step I use to run will take me somewhere I don't want to be. And if I keep averting my eyes, one day I might find myself blind to everything. When I open my eyes, I see how vast the world is. If I was alone, I think it would be incredibly scary. But fortunately, I'm surrounded by kind, supportive people. Now I hope I can grow into someone that can support them in turn. into someone completely different. I keep finding sides of myself I never noticed before, and I love every one of them. It would make me happy if you did too. Please, continue to stay at my side. because I've been doing stuff lately that I'm not used to. Huh? No, that's okay. No thanks. When Yukiko gave me one the other day, I got so ticklish that I almost died laughing. Actually, I was... Oh, you promise you won't laugh. 
I was studying and stuff. <laughs> I started to think studying's kind of fun. Just a little bit. Thinking about Adachi-san made me wonder if he was just weird. But then I thought, if my life had been different, I could have been just like him. Maybe everybody could. I realized that no matter how trivial something seems, it's related to my life. And that scared me. That's why during history class, it hit me suddenly that the history we were studying was all connected to me. The people back then, the things they did, their culture, it's all connected and it's tied to me too. It's not just something that happened a long time ago in a faraway country. Real people laughed, cried, and died there. Math and physics, too. They may not make any sense to me, but they're things I can use to help me understand the world. And when I thought about them that way, I got the urge to study harder. But it still didn't make any sense to me. So I'd give up, and then I'd come back to it again. <sighs> it's an endless cycle. <laughs> I'm good for nothing after all, huh? Hey, I'm still just getting started. My way of thinking has changed a lot over this past year. But I think what changed the most is that I like this town now. I didn't hate it before, but it didn't really mean anything to me. Now though, I realize that everyone is here. Yukiko, Yosuke, even you. All my friends and family. It was the people I believed in that gave me the strength to see the case through. So even if some other weird thing shows up again, I'll be okay as long as everyone's with me. If I believe in them and myself, I can always find a path. That's what I think. This will help me do more to protect the ones I love. That includes you too, you know. Since I love you. <laughs> Did that sound like I was proposing to you? Uh, yeah. It wasn't meant as a proposal. <laughs> I guess it did.
。